Hi, we're going to do another box today, this time out of Apple, and I'm going to show you how to make it with the where the grain lines back up. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, I went ahead and just put it uh, in between centers, and we're going to turn a tenon on each end and then grab a hold of it that way. You make it a little bit different, that way we can line the grain up with it. And that's a piece of Apple. There we go. Now we'll put a tenon down on, on each end. And then you just want to make uh, the box, you know, I think you make the lid about one third what the, what the box is. So we want to go ahead and separate it, you know, about right in there. And that way we can remount it. Just go ahead and bring it in. Then you can just snap it off with your hand. All right. And then I just cut it up, finished cutting it off with the saw. And then we'll go ahead and uh, mount the lid first in there, hollow it out, and then uh, go ahead and mount the bottom. And I'm just going to bring the diameter down, down on it. Then we'll go ahead and come in and hollow it out. I'm just using a bowl gouge here. Go ahead and clean up that. Edge just a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and come in with the square scraper again and just true up the wall there. Look nice and parallel. cleaning up the top, top of the lid there. All right, I just marked the, the depth there with the depth gauge, and so I know that's that's uh, the depth. I'm gonna go ahead and bring and give it a little bit of material on the on the top. You just wanna leave, give it, give it a quarter inch or so. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and sand it up. And it's just uh, paste wax and mineral oil. Just finishing up with uh, 600. And then we'll go ahead and part it off. All right. 
there we go. It's finished, finished on the inside. Okay, and as we as we turn this, we'll just use the use the lid to to gauge where our tenon is and and uh, the diameter of the box. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put a tenon on it and then fit the lid. Okay, once you get the tenon turned down so the lid fits on, actually we can go ahead and finish the lid now. And I left this just a little bit proud and we'll, uh, we'll bring it down just a little bit more before we start sanding on it. But this way, you can line your grain right back up the way it came off of there. See how your patterns match back up? And we'll just go ahead and sand it up. Just finishing up with uh, 600. Then we'll go ahead and uh, hollow out the inside of the box. Just going to go ahead and turn the lathe speed back up and polish it up. There we go, and that's just a piece of apple. You can kind of see that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and hollow it the inside out. Okay, just going to go ahead and sand up the inside and inside the box and outside and then we'll part it off and finish the bottom. Just finishing up with uh, 600. Maybe clean the tenon up just a little bit with that. You know, want to sand on it too much. You just turn it up a little bit. All right. We'll go ahead and put a waste block on and finish that. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and turn a tenon down to accept the, the box here. All right, once you get the tenon turned down, we'll just go ahead and remount the box and then clean up the bottom here. Just cup it out just a little bit so it sits nice and flat.
There we go, and then you can use your chisel to make sure it's it's cupped out. Just turn, turn the lathe speed back down. All right, just uh, finishing up with the 600. Then we'll uh, just polish it up. There we go. Your bottom's all finished. Lid. And then we can line the grain right back up. All right, there we go. And that's how you do it to get your grain to line back up. And uh, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.